In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to defend the bunch tight end formation Madden 23. Really, any trip formation, this concept can really apply to it, especially any kind of compression uh, bunch or any kind of compression trips. This is pretty solid coverage for it. Uh, I'm in the Detroit playbook on offense. On defense, we're in the 46 playbook. If you want to get my entire 4-6 uh, defensive ebook, the link will be down in the description. It's got dollar. It's got 3-3 cub, nickel over. Everything's on the page. Patreon, you get access to all of it by, be, uh, by becoming a member for just 10 bucks. But here's how we're going to run our defense is we're going to first and foremost, we're going to take auto flip off. We're going to turn our auto alignment to base align. And then we're going to come down here to uh, zone coverage and we're going to set that to match. Now, uh, what I like to do against bunch tight end is I like to put the cover three cloud in my audibles. And then I'm going to actually come out in cover three cloud, but I'm going to flip the formation. Now, the reason that I like to come out in DB fire two every single time is because I want to kind of have a symmetrical look to my defense and then audible to whatever coverage I want to run off of it. If it is, for example, this cover three cloud. So um, when I run the cover three cloud, I want my cloud flat corner to be on the bunch side. I think it works best if that cloud flat is on the bunch side. And so we're just going to come out in this and if it's standard bunch tight end, you would want to run your DB fire two flipped. And then you'll see that when I audible into cover three cloud, this is what the defense is going to look like. From there, it's pretty simple. We're just going to press our coverage. And if you watch these corner routes, it's really hard uh, for the corner route to get over the top of this cloud. You see right there, it's that time it is able to get over, but I'll show you one little trick to be able to get him back far enough. So all you have to do is just back off that bunch side corner. Now this little slot corner right here, what I like to do with him is we're going to put him into a flat zone. And then on the right side, um, you can either leave that curl flat zone or what you can do is go ahead and blitz that corner on the right, drop the other linebacker into a hard flat, and then you can use her over the middle of the field like this. Uh, but what you're getting is essentially this backed off cloud flat. It doesn't really matter what corner route they run. Um, they're really going to struggle to throw that in that window. Okay, there are windows where you can throw corner routes this year. And most people, if they're going to run any kind of bunch, they're going to run this with their bunch to the short side of the field so that they can run a play like X spot. The problem with this play, as you'll see right here, is they're going to throw it in the window in which the cloud flat is able to play the quarter route. So there's not really a great quarter route that they can throw consistently to that side of the field. So what are they likely to do? If we're able to really protect that bunch side of the field, where else are they likely to attack? Now, another thing you could do to help this is walk these safeties down. So the other place that they're likely to attack is really across the, 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 the deep right sideline. So it might look something like this right here out of the play P boot over. And what you'll see with this is that outside third on the right side is going to play any kind of deep crosser because of where the bunch is. And I'll show this a little bit more in detail here and I'll actually take my rush away. So again, if they had a route combination like this, this crosser would be the main route they're looking to hit. But you'll see here, if I try to throw this, that outside third is going to, is going to be able to break on the ball and he's going to completely take that away. Now, what you might say is, okay, well, that's true, but what if, what if they're running their bunch to the wide side of the field? Then you'll see here in the play P boot over, run the exact same setup, but different hash marks. Because the tight end is inside of the numbers, it actually makes this still a really good defense. So what you'll see here is this window to throw the ball to C. Lamb. Yeah, you can kind of throw it, but... All you have to do to counter it is simply take the quarterback on the right and put him in an outside quarter. And what you'll see here is if I run pivot over and I put that outside quarter out there, now that middle third will play there. And then this quarter actually played pretty decent. Okay. 
So you can utilize that. Um, really, the Cover 3 Cloud, you should be fine. Um, this peep it over is not good. Typically, you're going to get pressure before that crosser really has a chance to develop, um, especially if it's coming from the wide side. But, you know, typically they're going to try to throw it right in there. And as you can see, he's able to play, make a play on that ball. Now, again, if we put any pressure whatsoever, that's what I was talking about a second ago. So the pressure that we would put on him would be something like this, a little seven four pressure. And then we have our cloud flat. So if, you know, for example, they run this, it's hard to it's hard to have enough time in this year's game because you see how fast the dollar blitz comes in. So crossers, they just don't have as much time to develop. And again, if they're really going to hit that crosser, um, you know, all you have to do is, you know, put a quarter. You can protect the sticks with that outside quarter. Typically, that will be enough to stop it. But essentially, all you're trying to do is you're just trying to basically get that quarter to play more like that right there. Okay. And normally that will happen. So if you think about it, you take away those two plays. There's not a whole lot else you can do out of bunch tight end. Uh, I mean, there is, but there's not a whole lot of really good stuff. So like, for example, this is one of the great route combos on a bunch tight end. This backed off cloud, that tight end is going to run right into that backed off cloud space. Now, again, you know, we're with our bunch. Typically, people that run bunch tight end, they're going to run their bunch to the short side, which is going to make that cloud flat on the right a lot better. Um, so like if they're running PA boot over and they're running the slant post variation that you can run out a bunch tight end, like this cloud flat's going to be in a really good shape. Now again, you got to remember your user's in the middle of the field. So if you're sitting five, right, maybe you're doing it like this, you're going to take the slant um, across the middle and then this tight end is going to run into the cloud flat. So they're going to have to throw that super early. And if you walk those safeties down, that becomes a very difficult throw to make. Now, you know, another thing you could do is you could say, well, we're just going to play the tight end in man coverage. And then, you know, you could kind of get a justy from there. So let's say you send this guy off the edge. You're going to put this outside, outside player. Uh, really a third is fine. Uh, and then maybe a middle third right here. Uh, that third, there's not a whole lot that threatens the flat on the right. So you could kind of get away with not even having a flat over there. And then you just user the, the middle of the field. So all in all, that's my kind of bunch tight end defense or what I like to do. If I'm going to play zone against bunch tight end, I really just like to play with real simple cover three cloud, double flat the bunch side. And then really if you do that and you have – you send four. Send four against bunch tight end is really good because it's hard for them to pick up pressure. Um, yeah, they're going to hit you underneath sometimes, but there's not a whole lot of bunch tight end that can really threaten you with down the field with this defense. And then at specific times, instead of calling cover three cloud, then just call this, this play right here where we're going to send five at them. And what I love about this is this is a send five, but now we have hard flats on the field. Now the quarter route will be open, but the send five is going to come home super fast with you user over the middle of the field. Guys, thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon at the link down below.